This is my brother, Will. We've been really close for the past couple of years. Part of that reason is the shenanigans involving cars. We've been helping each other do stupid stuff to our cars for years. However, this is not a 50-50 type of thing. He's helped me out so much with cars, whether it's tuning, wrenching, racing advice. He's been there every step of the way. Now here's my Mazda Miata. I've owned it for three years. Will has been the one tuning it from the very first Mega Squirt ECU startup. And I think we can both agree it's been a massive learning process for the both of us. Through a lot of Googling, he was able to get it running really well. Here we go. <laughs> but every DIY tuner has their limits. For us, it was a dyno. To get a full blown tune, there's certain things that you need to hit that require a dyno. Things like steady state tuning that require load changing at you know the exact same speed, that's not really possible on the street. So I looked up a local dyno tuner, made an appointment, and it was a shit show. So they pulled it off the dyno, I got in the car, and it couldn't start up. It couldn't idle. <laughs> um, the tuner came out and spent like 20 minutes fixing it. It's fine, mistakes happen, I get it. We took it for a drive and realized that the overboost protection wasn't adjusted for the higher PSI that the car was running. <laughs> like that's that's not good I don't know why he didn't take that off but we had to go back and get it fixed again okay that's fine now I was able to actually drive the car and yeah it was really fast I mean there's no denying it it's it's 240 wheel horsepower in a Miata that's pretty fast this is a second gear all right let's go It made 240 wheel horsepower and around 230 torque. None of my bullet points were, were hit. Over the next month or so, I did some work in the idle and cold starts and, and we're just dialing that in. And I was taking logs and sending them to Will for revisions. All of this to get the car driving safer and better. <laughs> and now the car is running really well. The startup is pretty solid. Idle is decent. It's safe. It pulls hard. But it was through this absolute shit show of dealing with a dyno tuner that I kind of realized how much Will has been helping me out. And it kind of hit me. Will knows cars. That's what he knows. And that's what he uses to make people's lives better. He'll help you install a part, tune a car. That's how he kind of shows, um, not in a weird way, his love. This is a guy that has been there from the very start of my channel five years ago. My first video, he helped install a Capac exhaust that I later filmed for the first time and uploaded to YouTube. That was the start of my channel. My third video was on his Mark 7 GTI with an awful exhaust. It sounded so bad. My fourth video was the start of our Miata build. And that lasted a couple years, and eventually was 1.8 liter swapped and supercharged. I 
I don't think that this channel would exist without my brother. The moral of the story is, recognize the different ways people show love. Some do it through tuning, some do it through cooking food, some do it through gifts. Keep your eyes out for it, because it, it may hit you later on how much difference someone can have on your life. And I hope one day that I can repay that love that my brother has put into my cars and my channel. For now, I'm just going to keep carrying you in video games, as I always have, um, always will, because I'm just better at that. Um, buying dumb posters, <laughs> um, like Rick and Morty posters, taking pictures of your car, like that kind of stuff. That's, that's what I'm good at. I will figure out a way to get back at you one day for helping me out all these, all these years though. Until then, Will, thank you. Anyway, thank you again for watching, and yeah, see you guys later.